This is Fred Beck from Fredericks Fighting. I'm joined in London today by Joe Fournier. Joe, I do appreciate you, appreciate you giving me the time of day. It's There's a bunch of media outside, but you picked me to come in, so thank you. You're welcome. I'm loyal to my guy, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's not it's too long since we last caught up. It's been about a couple of weeks. But you, how long have you been in London for? A couple I of days? No, I just got in and I fly out in an hour, so oh, well. we've got to keep it moving. <laughs> we'll keep this in too short then. Yeah. Well, actually, to be fair, it's, you're not a normal person where you're like, oh, my plane leaves in three hours. No, you, d you decide when that happens. Plane's waiting. Yeah, it's on the runway. It does cost me money to sit on the runway though. Really? So Yeah. Is that expensive? Yeah. It's a few grand an hour. Oh wow, that much? Yeah, yeah, Blimey. Call me the Sean Sweet then. You want to jump out the window or find a little exit? Cause there's a bunch of media waiting for out there. But we'll just go straight into the questions. JJ, obviously, he's had a bit of controversy recently. Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess that may be that's my theory of why is it more held back today kind of less trash talk than usual, has less fired up. Do you, do you believe that was the reason? I think he's scared. I think he's afraid of me. I think, uh, I don't know what's been going on outside. I don't pay any attention. As you know, I'm not part of the, the YouTube community. Uh, I run my companies, Bonbonier, and uh, that's what I focus on. So, but I saw, he's, I can see in his eyes he's afraid. I think he's going to do his best. I think he's going to train hard. I think he's going to do all the things that they said they're going to do. But I don't think it's going to be enough. And I think I'll be victorious with a, a spectacular, uh, devastating knockout on May the 13th. There's been a lot of talk about you might be overconfident or underestimating, underestimating KSI. Are you underestimating him? Do you value him as a fighter? I do value him as a fighter. I just think I'm considerably better. It doesn't mean he's... I'm not saying he's bad, but I think that, you know... Remember, I was top 10 in the world WBA, mm -hmm. right? That wasn't that long ago, and I haven't taken that many big wars since. And, you know, I've shared the ring with some incredible, you know, legends. So um, I think for where he's at, I told him to his face in the sit down upstairs. I said, you're definitely like probably the best YouTube boxer right now because he's undefeated. So you, you're definitely best. He's a, it's him and Jake, you know, up there. But I, 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 I would defeat both of those gentlemen. Who do you believe is better, KSI or Jake Paul? I think they're very different. I think KSI is more explosive and uh, more kind of uh, unorthodox. I think Jake is more polished. He's done it a few more years. I think he's more turning kind of more like boxing style as opposed to just pure like brute, uh, brute rawness. So I think the, <clears throat> the clash would be interesting. Unfortunate, it won't happen after I knock him out. You seem very confident. I guess you and your team are very confident. One person that's backing you heavily is your, your friend, I guess former opponent, David Hay. Yeah. I was talking to Alexis about this earlier. Do you think it gives them an advantage, Alexis, in the London Shoe Fighters, their team an advantage, since they fought you before with David? Well, Alexis and Marius at London Shoe Fighters are probably up there in the world as some of the top coaching team in MMA and boxing. So I have no doubt that they've watched and they've taken any bit of information that they can take and to make their fight the best he can be. At the end of the day, it does go through them to pick, you know, they're part of the com committee that picks the opponent. So they obviously feel like they have something and I respect their opinion. Uh, they're people that I do think that uh, are very, very highly skilled coaches. I just think that uh, their guy has never been in. It's not about the coach at the end of the day. They're not in the ring. They can only do what they can to get their guy the best the best he can be for the night but on the night like I said to him upstairs he would not beat me in any type of combat whether it was wrestling jiu-jitsu boxing Thai boxing MMA KSI would never beat me in any type of altercation Period. or basketball or basketball <laughs> maybe FIFA you know but that's that's about you it FIFA? I'm decent at FIFA really? but I think he's what really division good. are you uh, I'm not that good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the, now you're asking me these questions. <laughs> like, I sit down and play FIFA all day. <laughs> going a little bit off topic there. That's, that's, but that did make me laugh when you said that comment in the press conference. Um, obviously, KSI is very locked in the camp right now. He's had a few pieces here and there at WrestleMania in America recently. Have you got a locked in camp where you're basically training every single day, or is it a bit here and there until the fight? Uh, just here and there. Listen, there's six rounds, not a lot of rounds for me, so. Just got to show up and do what I got to do. I know how to fight. I'm not going to get any better at this age. So now I know what it says on the tin. I just got to be fight fit and get my eyes ready. And I'm in there to have a proper scrap with him. And I think he's going to do well. But I think this is going to be the first time that KSI will be rendered unconscious at the end of a boxing fight. It's going to be a good fight, Joe. Definitely is. I'll let you go. I, don't, I know you've got a lot of media out there. But thank you for inviting me in today. Appreciate you. Thank you.